Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Legacy Farm of the Podcast. This is your host, Jace D. Young, and today's topic and discussion is this. Making money is one thing. Keeping it is another. Now, we just are getting into 2023, and most of our members had a very profitable year um, ending 2022. Um, Obviously, the increase in grain prices and everything uh, worked out to be a pretty good year for a lot of our customers. Some of them had a windfall just with um, insurance payments, government payments, and then uh, obviously better grain prices. So for some of them, it was a very, very good year. Now, things are going to change here going into 2023. We are predicting and projecting that 2023 is going to be one of the most expensive years on record to raise a crop, like the most expensive year ever, um, just with where input prices and everything are at across the board. Interest rates are going up. Our average rates um, in our network right now for people on their operating line of credits is anywhere from seven to nine and a half percent. And uh, what we're doing with them on that specific situation is just working with them on teaching them how to renegotiate those things back down with their bank. And uh, we do that by training them on exactly how the banks operate and where you can have leverage over your banker and those conversations, which can obviously um, equate to tens of thousands of dollars, just savings and interest by knowing how to do those things. Now, again, today's topic and discussion is around making money is one thing, keeping it is another. And I want to talk about the emotions that drive farmers and ranchers. You see, guys, a lot of people, they're going to go out, they're going to make good money this year or in 2022. That's awesome. I hope this is what happens for a majority of farmers and ranchers across this country. The problem is, though, is that most of them are going to blow it. They were absolutely going to get rid and blow every single one of those profits that they made in 2022. And this is obviously a problem because you can only continue that cycle so long. I'm still just mind blown, guys, when I look at some of these operations and some of these people that are coming into um, Legacy Farmer. Not bad people. They just haven't. And they they know how to run an operation. I mean, I, they know how to raise a crop or raise cattle. They're really good at that. But when it comes to the business side of things, It's just, you know, we we got people that are worth millions and billions and billions of dollars that do not understand business structure, systems, processes, or anything on that side of their business. Again, they're great at raising a crop or raising cattle or livestock or whatever that may be. But when it comes to the business side of their business, there's a massive, massive hole there. And again, it just blows my mind that some of these people have survived this long. And what's great about what we're doing this year and where a lot of our conversations have been coming in our community boardroom calls with all of our members is making sure that we are focused on keeping the profits that we made in 2022, right? I'm talking about taking money off the table. I'm not talking about going and buying new combines or putting up buildings or, you know, buying whatever whatever you think you need in order to get your tax bill down to zero. Guys, that is a recipe for disaster. I can tell you if you were trying to pay zero dollars in taxes every single year, um, that is going to catch up to you and it is not going to work out very well for you. So instead of doing that, It's more a conversation around, okay, if we made 300 grand last year, what's the tax bill going to be? And then where are we putting those profits, right? Where are we actually going with those things? And again, most people are going to be emotional that these farmers, they're going to get excited in their mind. They're going to go start looking for opportunities, whether that's buying $10,000 ground, an acre ground, um, depending on where you're at. That's cheap, depending on where you're at. Um, or new equipment, or just buying stuff they don't need, right, before they actually are even ready to do that. And the problem with this is that they're not looking at that decision from a business mindset. They're looking at it from their emotional side of things where they're just excited to be able to farm more ground or whatever. Maybe the banker said yes. But do you really know if it's a good idea? Because most of you right now listening to this podcast, you don't know what your numbers are. You have no idea. Um, You may see what your tax return says. You made profits in last year. Guys, your tax return is the most manipulated document inside of your operation. That tells us nothing about the overall profitability of your operation. It tells the IRS what it is based on their standards. But when it comes to your operation and whether you are growing and making money and then also what you're doing with those profits, you have to have a completely different set of books. For us inside of our network, that's called Farmer Metrics. Okay, there's, and then the way I describe this to our members is there's two sets of books for every business owner. There's the accountant's books and the business owner's books. And the business owner's books are what you need to be paying attention to. Again, because the accountant's books, those things are manipulated. It can be manipulated with depreciation, different tax credits or whatever there. Um, Whereas the business owner's books, that's the truth of where our numbers lay today. And we have to know where we're at today because you have... $10,000, $20,000, $50,000, $100,000 decisions that you are making today. So I need to know if I made all this money last year, how am I, what am I doing with those profits today? And also to have the awareness to know that grain prices where they're at right now, they're not always going to be there. I remember back in 2012 and we had $13 wheat in uh, Kansas. I think the high was like 1384 or something like that. 
Most of those people, they made a pile of money in 2012, which was great. That's awesome. But most of them blew it in that same year and went and bought a bunch of stuff that they didn't need instead of taking money off the table, focused on keeping that money. And two years later, they're facing, you know, some really difficult times and, and potentially some of them like were facing bankruptcy. So this is the stuff that happens when we operate our businesses based on emotions and not what the facts are. Okay. And again, if you're, if you're listening to this right now and you're like, yeah, I, I don't know what the facts are. I don't know if I can like truly go out and buy this. I know, I know what the accountant is telling me I made last year or whatever, but I really don't know my numbers. I really don't have any idea where I'm at. I don't know if this is a bit good business decisions. Yes. My emotions are telling me that, uh, yes, I can do this right now and this is exciting and everything, but do you really know if it's a good sound financial decision? And are you actually considering all the possible consequences or benefits from making that decision most likely you're considering the benefits which i get it um we can we can justify every reason and every way why we need to buy more farm ground or you know we can justify any investment we want to make but are you really considering the long-term implications and consequences of making that decision and again i'll use real estate as an example and you guys have heard me say this in other podcasts you know when you're buying a piece of ground it's whether it's ten thousand acre or three thousand acre whatever that is you are making a 20-year commitment there right? Because most of you, you're not paying cash for all the ground. Um, Most of you, you're not doing a five-year note or a 10-year note. Most of you are doing a 20 or 25-year note. And that's the the length of the decision that you are making, right? So when you are looking at this, we need to look at potential consequences or challenges that could come up during the life of that loan. And we need to be considering all possibilities and also game planning out and actually plugging in some numbers to see if if a certain scenario happens where grain prices drop by 60 percent in the next two years how is this going to impact the overall cash flow of your business how's this going to impact the overall strength of your operation to the bank that is currently financing you do you even know (laughs) what i'm talking about right now do you even know what those numbers would mean or do you have the systems and processes built up to even be able to game plan out scenarios like that and if you don't i'm sorry but you're behind the eight ball you're way behind If you do not have these things set up, and again, I go back to what I said at the beginning of this podcast, I have multi, multi, multi million dollar operations coming into Legacy Farmer that have never had something like this set up. They have literally shot from the hip and just guessed with all of their decisions, basing it 100% on emotion and gut feeling when they had no idea how it was going to implicate their operation long term. And a lot of them, once they get in here, a lot of them get pissed off because it's like, man, if I would have had this stuff, this knowledge or these systems or these processes and everything that we're providing Legacy Farmer 10 to 15 years ago, how much more money would I have saved? And I'm telling you guys, for most of them, it's in the hundreds of thousands. For some of them, it's in the millions of dollars because they do not know how to keep the money that they are making. And guys, this is a massive, massive problem. So for a lot of people right now, you guys may be excited, right? 2022, hopefully it was a great year for you. And now all of a sudden, mentally, you're just starting to search. You're searching for different opportunities, different things you can buy and stuff like that. I'm going to challenge you to hold the brakes right now because the reality is if you're thinking this way, guess how many other people around you are thinking this way? Most everybody. So you can sit here and you can be patient for the next two years, three years, four years. You can take your profits off the table put them into a savings fund or whatever that is and wait for everybody else around you that's making emotional buying decisions right now, wait for prices to roll over and then put yourself in a position to start expanding your operation and picking up assets at a discount. This is what will happen. This is what has been proven to happen for years and years and years and years. Even back in the bank, we started started to see prices roll over in 2013. I had customers in the bank that were super solid. They knew their numbers. They made money, whether it was a really bad year or whether it was a really good year, they were profitable because they focused on the back end of their business. And in 2015, discounts started to pop up, being able to buy ground at a 50% discount or um, being able to buy assets from another farmer that's going bankrupt at a discount, right? Those opportunities started to come up and guess what? They took their profits off the table in 2012 or 2011 and they saved them and they just waited. They just waited for the emotions of people and for the economic cycle to take place. And instead of making these massive emotional financial decisions at the market high, they waited for it to drop. And they waited for everybody else to drop with it, people to be put in tight financial positions where they had to get rid of assets at a discount. And these people scooped them up on the cheap. (laughs) Like This is how it works, guys. So I'm sharing this with you right now because, again, I hope you had a super profitable year for 2022. I, I really do. I hope you killed it. I hope you made a lot of money and stuff like that. Now what I'm challenging you to do right now is make sure 
you are focused on keeping that money. Make sure that you are focused on leveling up your skill sets, your mindset, um, your you know your business operations on the back end, systems, processes, whatever that is, and just really fine tuning this business machine that you have in front of you. Patiently waiting for that opportunity to to present itself. And when that opportunity does present itself, I'm going to tell you all the stars are going to align. Everything is going to line up and it's going to work out perfectly. You're going to be able to get stuff at a discount. You are going to be able to grow your operation at a level that most only dream of because you have the discipline and the awareness to know that you need to be patient and make sure you are keeping the money that you are making. So my friends, that is where I'm going to end this podcast. I hope it really um, impacted some of you. I hope it makes you think deeply about your operation and what your long-term game plan is going to be. So my friends, that concludes this episode. We will catch you on the next one. What's up, everyone? My name is Jace Young. I'm the founder of a company called Legacy Farmer. And inside of that company, what we do is we've helped over 300 family farms simplify and streamline the entire financial side of their operation and help them learn their numbers at a deep, deep level so that they can implement the systems and the processes to make sure that their operation lives on for generations into the future.